There's a $10,000 idle grant that many businesses are eligible for out there that still have not applied for this grant. And the time right now is of the essence. You're on a short stick with this because they will be getting wiped away and signs are coming right now that it's coming soon. Let me just say to you new businesses out there, if you have not applied for the targeted idle advance, then you need to do so and you need to do so promptly because you wanna get yourself into position that if it's opened up for you, if it is, if you're eligible for this $10,000 idle grant or a supplemental $5,000 both, um, you wanna have yourself ready and in position to get it. So you should be watching this video and filing as soon as possible, uh, hopefully, by the end of this video, you can go ahead and get the information you need. Thanks for watching. Ladies and gentlemen, whether it's true or not with the rumors out there saying you cannot get the targeted idle advance anymore because the funds have been appropriated, it doesn't matter to me for personally because I'm in a yellow zone. So if the map is there, the map is there. Go ahead and get rid of the money. Put in a new program. Put in S513. So I'm getting comments right now from people saying I'm hearing funds right now are no longer available for the targeted idle advance. Where did they get this from? Well, I got it from an SBA agent and I'm thinking, how did they, they get it? They usually go to their website to get it. So let me uh, just go over this with you real quick and let you know what is going on at the SBA right now. So we click on here, we, you go to your, your Google or whatever and you say you go into COVID-19 idle, you're trying to get that idle advance, right? So you're going to the COVID-19 idle application. You come down here, it gives you the purposes and the reasons, the loan amounts and the requirements. And now if you get to this point where it says forgivable, idle loan, no, yes on the idle advance. It's forgivable with the hashtag. But here it says advanced funds have been fully allocated and are not currently available. That is uh, today, uh, today on their website. Today is the 21st of August. Now, a lot of you may be saying, oh, wow, it's gone. The money has been allocated. Well, the money has currently been allocated as it says in here, but it hasn't been signed, sealed, and delivered yet. So the money is still there. And yes, you are still a, a able to get this loan if you do so before Congress and the Senate signed that new set $5 trillion deal that uh, Pelosi is going to be trying to push through this week, or I'm sorry, next week in the, uh, in the Congress. So if they push that through and the money gets pulled from the idle programs, as far as all the grant money, all the advanced money would be coming out. But however, let me just go back into this real quick here and show you um, if you were to click on this COVID-19 relief options because that's what you're trying to do right and you see ppp idle look there's no there's not any uh idle uh advanced programs to to find in sight there so let's go ahead and we're going to go back and we're going to click on the sba just click on this one right here the sba administration so you click on that and it brings you to this page this is the one you want now, if you go to idle right here, it's gonna bring you to what we have just seen as far as the application goes, and it's gonna show you once again, the idle has been fully allocated and are not currently available. So we click back again, but we go to this one right here, the idle advanced programs. Click on that, the targeted idle advance and supplemental targeted idle advance right here. This is the one you want to click on. The idle advance, you can still fill out the applications as of right now. You apply here, and it's going to bring you to this application which you will fill out and hopefully get this application in before the time expires on this and before they sign it over to before they get rid of the funds so it is still available it is still here you just got to make sure that you click on the correct uh applications in the in the sba website and hopefully this shows you how that's done and make sure you're just going to click on the the main small business administration because the other ones are going to throw you off if you're looking at any of the uh, these other uh programs to be clicking on yes you would be under the impression that the idle advance is gone and i can understand that because most of the time the SBA agents, a lot of them that are working for the SBA use the same information that we have to give to you, to reflect that information back to you and tell you this information. However, there is a, a, there still is an application that you can fill out for that targeted idle advance program. Now, are they going to get rid of the map? If they don't get rid of the map, it doesn't matter to 90% of you because you don't, you're not following into the category of being in the uh, the policy map area, the mapping tools zone, in order to qualify for that that grant. Hoping we're hoping that they do is 
strip it. Now that now what we're looking at is them for to, them to strip the idle advance of the money and all that and implement a new program such as the S513, Jackie Rosen's bill or something similar to that bill that goes off and honors the CARES Act and gives you the $10,000 that you were promised in there for all small businesses regardless of size or location. Guys, I want to thank you for watching. Hopefully you have a blessed weekend and like and subscribe. Somebody say, hey, I want my 10K.